Attention everyone, before we watch Dragon Ball Super Hero, I have to remind you who the world's greatest hero is. His name is All Might. One for all, Fall Cowling, Detroit Smash! Hey, guys, have you ever heard of All Might? I, you want to eat a hair? What the heck? Mm. Mm. What are you doing? No, listen, listen. If I can't save one little girl, how can I call myself a hero? Even if it's already been decided, even if it's set in stone, I'll smash that future! Hey, Deku, shut up, you nerd! <laughs> what the hell? A lot of us anime and manga enjoyers all come down with this eventual phase of burnout from the mass consumption of peak fiction. We all get it eventually, but it's not hard to overcome. I've been seeing a lot of my boys so burnt out from experiencing manga and anime to the point where one of them is straight up wondering if modern anime is just boring as hell. Of course, I'm one of these people that also struggles with burnout, but I also circumvent it and I want to share my ways of how I get over burnout. The easiest thing to do is just start watching normal shows and movies. You know exactly what I mean by this. No more Chinese drawings, no more 1000 year old lollies, actual fucking people. As garbage as modern day media is in the West, it's not all garbage. Just like anime, western media also has its good classics from the good old days when movies actually wanted to be movies and not show pieces for Chinese audiences. Some good movies to check out, I recommend Falling Down if you're in the mood for another literally me movie. Or if you want something entertaining and insane, I recommend Crank High Voltage. It's a hilarious action movie about a guy who has an electronic organ system and has to shock himself every few hours to get his body working. If you're looking for horror movies, then eat a dick. There are no good horror movies. Now, if you're looking for peak fiction, definitely watch Adam Sandler's Click, the best movie of all time. The praise doesn't stop with just Western films, the Koreans be making some heat. Deadass, check out I Saw the Devil, it's like a horror version of Tom and Jerry, it's actually fucking wicked as a movie. <laughs> Another thing I did to get over burnout is group watching. This is easily the most effective one that actually works. You definitely need to get on group watching. I never would have done any of this bullshit on my own. Ain't no way I'm watching an isekai series with the same premise I've seen 10 trillion times. But everything changes when you're in a VC with four other niggas. You got one dude talking about how hot the femboy character is in the show. Then you have another guy telling him that he needs to be shot under Sharia law because he's a homosexual. Get that ass baby. Then you got a third dude that's trying to make this show deeper than it is and make it esoteric and say that it's related to the cycle of Samsara. Then there's the fourth man who's just muted because he actually likes the show. With all this going on, the show becomes interesting again to watch. I've gotten so many anime out the way just because I group watch with other retards like me. Never would have been able to finish so many shows without them pinging me every midnight to either watch a show about a guy turning into a dog to riz up white women or to watch the entire Fate series. But yeah, my point is group watching is the easiest cure to burnout you will ever have. This shit works 100% of the time. My god, what brand of monster would abandon a childling? Go on, son. Your brand new bike is just behind that tree. Go on. Really? So long, weirdo. Dad! No! Oh, hey! He was telling the truth. Yummy! Goku! If that kind of thing had actually happened to me, I don't know what I'd do. There is a downside to group watching that I should bring up. If you end up liking the show, you now have to continue it while your friends are arguing about something like the best Halo game of all time and screaming the n-word at each other. So yeah, good luck enjoying your mystery anime that's really engaging, but your friend keeps pausing every five seconds to ask what's going on. Yo, are you dead ass right now? Is that fucking Subway Surfers? The last way I recommend beating burnout is simple. Just go outside. <laughs> I'm not even joking either, like I really mean it, like it helps to go outside. Getting some sun is always good for you, especially if you're online all day. I mean, think about it, you're watching shows for 15 hours a day and doing nothing with your life. Sometimes you just gotta detox from media and just actually enjoy what's out there. Yeah, I know that was an underwhelming answer, but it's just the truth, I told you, it was gonna be simple. Anyway, those are my strategies to overcome burnout, and I hope that you apply them to your life. Anyway, be sure to like and subscribe and join the channel in order to become a fellow Yakubian soldier. You're right! Why don't you go watch CNN or some shit? You know, during the Las Vegas shooting,
Stephen Paddock supposedly expended over 3,000 rounds of ammunition over the course of 10 minutes from 27 AR-15s with bump stocks, despite the fact that that would have required him to drop a gun after each 30-round magazine was empty. And videos from the survivors show that it was a non-stop stream of bullets with a firing rate much higher than a bump stock is capable of producing, coming from multiple locations which appear to be M240 LMGs. After the FBI took over the investigation, his house somehow burnt down along with all the evidence, and photos of his hotel room where he shot from show only about 50 spent shells. Years later, we don't know his motivation and there was strangely no follow-up on the biggest mass shooting in U.S. history. His brother had numerous press interviews where he claimed it made no sense, and suspiciously, the very next day he was arrested for possessing hundreds of terabytes of child porn. Supposedly, he stored all that on a 20-year-old computer which ran Windows 95, at least according to the photos taken by the FBI.